more Americans are beginning to wear masks in public. As the White House debates whether to urge people from a federal level to wear face coverings during the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, I think they're going to be coming out with uh, uh, regulations on that. And if people want to abide by them, frankly, I don't think you could. I don't think they'll be mandatory because some people don't want to do that. Donald Trump speaking Thursday after some local leaders in places like Los Angeles and New York City have already been urging residents to cover their faces. It could be a scarf. Uh, it could be something you create yourself at home. It could be a bandana. It does not, not need to be a professional uh, surgical mask. Officials emphasizing, though, that surgical masks and N95 respirators should only be worn by health care workers as those on the front lines of the crisis scramble for critically needed protective gear. When the advisory comes out, it will be an additive piece if it comes out. Dr. Deborah Burks, a member of Trump's coronavirus task force, explaining why there's a debate over the reported push from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to encourage Americans to wear masks when leaving the house, saying she's concerned such recommendations could lead to a false sense of security. The most important thing is the social distancing and washing your hands. And we don't want people to get an artificial sense of protection because they're behind a mask. Recently, other countries like Israel telling citizens to wear face masks in public as a precaution. Shoppers in Austria will be required by law to wear face masks while buying groceries starting next week to help stop infected people from spreading the disease. The World Health Organization says healthy people don't need to wear face masks unless caring for someone who is ill, explaining in these circumstances, masks are only effective when combined with other protective measures. WHO continues to gather all available evidence and continues to evaluate the potential use of masks worn more broadly to control COVID-19 transmission at the community level. We must keep medical masks for those who are... Um, managing patients, our health care workers. That message from Canada's chief public health officer Friday, Dr. Theresa Tam says proper hand washing and physical distancing remain her top recommendations to flatten the curve. But if Canadians choose to wear a face covering... While it hasn't been proven really to protect you from getting the virus, wearing a non-medical mask is an additional measure you can take to protect others. So as I said, it's a bit like covering your cough. A full breakdown of recommendations on the use of masks available at Canada.ca slash public health, which includes the warning that it's important to understand that non-medical masks have limitations and need to be used safely. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.